Meet me. All right, welcome back to another Squirrely subscriber account review. Today we're going to review Party's account on the EU server. And uh, just to share this with everyone, I had way too many people reach out to me. For the record, I only intended to do like one to two account reviews per week. I don't want to make this channel nothing but account reviews. So on my community channel, I'm going to list new guidelines uh, for everyone to submit requests to me because it got overwhelming. I literally got like 50 or 60 private messages. So for everyone I didn't get back to, please don't take offense. I'm just one person. I can't respond to everything. So I'm going to make new guidelines because I want this thing to be clear because I even had like legend-ish players reach out to me for an account review. And I was like, you guys don't need your accounts reviewed. They were just trying to flex. And this channel is not about that. I want to only review accounts where you have something specific you want help with. If you want to flex, there are other YouTubers out there reviewing legend accounts. I don't want to do any of that stuff. So um, in Party's case, he says he's a you know, late mid, um, mid to late game player. He says he has a good number of uh, six star units. And the main thing he had questions with were he wants to be in champion arena and he wants to know if what he can do to push higher in RTA. And I think this is a situation a lot of people are in, and that's why I wanted to review this account. A lot of people who hover around high challenger and like masters RTA who want to take it to the next level. And it looks like from here he has a pretty decent kit. So right away, let's look at his hero pool. Um... And I'm going to ask him some questions throughout. We'll save that for the end of the video, his responses. But first, let's go over his heroes. Then I want to check out his arena team. And we're going to see what we can do to make his arena teams better. So those will be the topics of discussion today. So I'm going to take someone's advice here and just sort by CP because people complained in the first video. I was reviewing a bunch of naked heroes. So we're going to go by CP this time. So right off the bat, as most people with Arbiter have... Arbiter is his highest CP hero. And honestly, it's pretty good. It's not bad. Um, I would say it's a little on the slower end for a top RB. Um, for a top RB, like, it'll usually be 240, at least with these kind of offensive stats. The ones that are around 220 usually hit a lot harder, more like 4K attack, 300 crit damage, 100% crit chance. But honestly, there's really nothing wrong with this RB. He's got a trip double S imprint on this thing. I'm assuming he used unknown slates on this. The attack, I mean, if you reforge this and, you know, get more Alexas, I mean, this is a pretty solid RV. No real complaints there. Uh, speed set, K-Ron. Honestly, this looks pretty solid to me as well. Oh, I, what is this, like a Dust Devil build? I'm surprised he uses this EE instead of, like, Elia's knife or something. But I guess that's fine. Decently fast, hard-hitting. I myself prefer counter crayons, but I think... K-Ron has fallen off a lot in RTA this season anyway. A Coley. Um, nothing too special here. I would say this is probably not very usable in RTA. Too slow for speed contesting. And I guess if it was a straight up bruiser match, you can use it as like an S10A replacement. But I see S10A right underneath. So if you're going to build her this way, probably going to draft her very rarely. This S10A is way too slow, but it hits really hard. So very good offensive stats, very squishy, no immunity. So the biggest thing, if, if you guys want to compete in RTA, the biggest thing you guys are going to have to do, um, if they're not above like 250 speed, you need to put them on immunity. Because what's going to happen, like anytime you draft this and they pick something like Arby or something, right? The blind will neuter you for two turns, so... This S10A, I would say switch it, get it to more like at least 180 speed, find a way to put it on immunity so it's actually reliably draftable in RTA. You don't need this much attack, so you can shave off like 1,000 attack and find a way to put it into speed. Um, the offensive stats are way higher than mine, but I would say this is really not usable in RTA. And you can actually make it even stronger by reforging these two pieces. SSB, very squishy. So this is um, this is clearly a Wyvern SSB. It's on Daydream Joker. I'll ask him later if he wants to use this for Arena because 
SSP is still pretty ownage in arena. So if that's his goal, that'd be a great place to start. Judge Kisei. Very strong. Um, very high crit damage on the destruction set. Obviously, it could be stronger. Uh, the top ones will be well over 4k attack. Um, the one problem with it is it's not on immunity, but that might be okay. Um, not too many people run like Elbrus FCCs anymore, but things like Elbrus FCCs or A Tywins will screw up your rotation if you try this in Arena, but still fine. I think this is usable. I'm surprised he uses hit set instead of crit set because I'm assuming his team has a crit imprint, otherwise 85 would not cut it. T. Surin, speed set. I would say this is not a very good T. Surin, man. Um, for a speed set T. Surin, it's really slow. Um, a lot of lifesteal T. Surins are around this speed and have the same or better offensive stats. Obviously, you have some, you have like a counter set here. Um, so my strong advice is to just switch it to lifesteal set if you can. I don't know if you have lifesteal gear. But honestly, um, mine is on lifesteal set and has higher stats in almost every category. Maybe like 10 less speed. I would say if you're going to put a T-CERN on speed, T-CERN is pretty solid base speed. It should be more like uh, minimum 240 speed if, to justify it. CDOM. I mean, it's not a godly CDOM, but there's nothing wrong with it. Um, ideally, you want CDOM... To compete, especially in RTA, to be at least like 180 speed. Because right now, if like you like whoever your initiator is, like uh, Footica or Alots or whatever, if they brick one crit and you're this slow, you still might not be pushed up to the front. So getting to like 160, 170, 180 speed is ideal for making that work. Spez, I don't have a lot of experience with Spez, so I don't have a good reference. I'd say this looks pretty squishy, but I'm going to withhold comments on your Spez. I do love Spez. This looks very squishy to me, though. I feel like it'll just get killed. And the ones that I see um, tend to be pretty tanky because his S3 multiplier is so high that he doesn't really need that much offensive stats to give someone anyway. So they pump those stats into health and defense. Ooh. Uh, actually, the crit damage is pretty low. I mean, this is all free gear. I'm assuming you don't use this much. This is a pretty solid Araminta. Very high effectiveness. Not the fastest, but that's okay because she's not an initiator. I like this Araminta. I think it's okay. Charles. Um, squishy and 74% crit chance and ungodly slow. I don't think that will work. Your average Basar, nothing wrong with it. It'll get the job done, so the Basar is fine. The Cerise is pretty solid. You have some pretty good speed gear, man. Whoa! 21 speed. 23 speed. Were you a secret whale? 18 speed. 19 speed. This thing's killing it. You could get close to 300 speed, man, if you get a better ring. You have better ski... This is way better than any helmet. And he has effective... This helm is... Legit, dude. This is a sick helmet. My fastest helm is 19 speed. And my fastest sword, I think, is 19 speed. So, damn, maybe I should be taking lessons from you on how to get speed gear, man. Yafin, uh, looks like another super slow one. You have a lot of, like, slow A-lots combos, don't you? I'm assuming this is a Wyvern Furious. I'm not going to go into his Wyvern teams because it sounds like he's pretty set on it. Sage Ball. I think it's a pretty solid Sage Ball. Maybe a little bit on the squishier side, but um, you're also using some blue gear, so you might be able to get away. I mean, you might even be able to get away using a health set ring um, because effectiveness, like 140 effectiveness, you're not going to debuff the effect resist stacking heroes like Ruels and Amomos and the common doors, things like that. So if you're not going to debuff it anyway, even at like 80, you're going to debuff any DPS in the game. It might be worth it just to bulk him up and get rid of uh, a little bit of effectiveness. Uh, Wyvern G Purgis, I'm assuming. Clearly that's not built. Basic Crow, very low life. LR Crow is okay. Um... 
not a great one. Like for reference, mine has more HP, 300 more defense, more speed, like more everything basically. But again, he doesn't have all his gear reforged. And I'm assuming you have some... This is actually a sick pair of boots, dude. Oh, you have a flat health ring. Well, there you go. That explains a lot. But actually, for a flat health ring, it's still really good. Hmm, not bad. Um, and I'm assuming at this point we're kind of delving into the heroes you don't use very often. A lot's 249 speed. That's too slow to do anything in RTA, but it might work in Arena. And we're just going down. So I don't think we have to talk about any of these other things. He does have a lot of six stars built. Um, but clearly he doesn't have the gear to gear them all out. That's fine. He has sinful energy. So, all right. So the first thing I want to do is let's check out his arena team because that's where he wanted advice, right? His He wants to be able to push higher in regular arena. So, um... Let's scope out his arena. He uses like an Oxlot's Cleave. So let's scope that out first. So this is actually a very good team. I used to use this myself all the time. Other than the fact that the Judge Kisei is not on immunity. Let's see. Let's see how strong this is. If this is a fast K run, I might actually still lose. But let's just go ahead and scope this out and see how it works. I feel like this is a... This team works in champion too. I'm, so I'm surprised you're struggling with this team so we'll bump up the judge key say should hit decently hard um seems to work fine ssb is dead i don't know if that's a counter kron i might get soloed by the kron if it is because judge key say bricked the dispel Does not look like a counter crayon, actually. In which case we auto win, because Arbiter will kill him after. So dude, I'm not actually sure why you're struggling in Challenger. This team, um, I'm not really finding anything wrong with it. Unless there's just a lot of teams that this doesn't work against that you're struggling with. But I would say in Challenger, most people's gear is so bad that... This should work fine as long as you're hitting the right teams. So there we go. He wipes us out, but RB comes back. Easy peasy. So again, I've used this team myself. So why don't we scope out some of the other defenses and kind of see what this might not work against and try to build you a team that'll work against that. Like this, Celine, obviously just dodge it with an ALOTS team. This, the team should work fine. So maybe this, the really fast Cerise F10A teams. That might be what you're struggling with. Do you have a Judge Kisei? I mean, not a Judge Kisei, uh, a Champ Zerato. Uh, I'm not seeing a Champion Zerato. Okay, well, people always get mad at me, so we'll actually use this thing. No Champion Zerato anywhere, not on the bench either. So he does not have Champion Zerato. That's typically the easiest answer um, to the amazing F10A Cerise defenses that everyone struggles with. No Fallen Cecilia. Um, all right, let's think about this. All right, we're back. I was uh, talking to him, so I cut the recording for a second because um, I was trying. His journal had Champ Z on it, but I couldn't find it anywhere. He did trade it in. So I was trying to make a team for him to deal with these Cerise F10A defenses because his strategy is very similar to um, a lot of people's. He doesn't trust his speed, although he's really fast. His Cerise is really fast. So he basically just targets the teams that he knows he's faster than and avoids everything that um, he thinks might outspeed him. So that's a solid strategy, except I don't think, man, that you can make a team that's very safe because, let's go over his heroes again, he doesn't really have many good knights or soul weavers built. So the strategy against teams that have control but not a lot of DPS is typically just tank through it 
Um, so a very common one, if you watch my arena offense video is the SSB auto team, just use something like soul weaver, double knight SSB or double soul weaver knight SSB, but he can't really do that here because, um, let's look at his knight and uh, soul weaver pool. It's pretty light. And I think that might be what's holding you back in RTA as well. Charles obviously doesn't count this a Roz, um, the gear is not too great. You're using like three pieces of 70, four pieces of 70. So this is basically not usable at the high end. The Crow is a little bit better in terms of stats. Like I would say all the stats are okay, except this HP is way too low. So maybe you can get away with this, but some unlucky Alexas and he's going to get gibbed. I'd say your LR Crow is the best in terms of bulk. And this Lilius is so squishy, it's unusable. The other thing is, um, this thing's on porch. Like, I couldn't think of, like, uh, if you're going to... Because a lot of times you want to bring both Orius and Adamant. That limits you to just basically using Crow and Aroz. And they're both kind of on B-tier gear. So if anything, I would put the LR Crow on Adamant and try to fix up your regular Crow so that you have a solid adamant Orius combo because that... 35% damage mitigation is going to really help you a lot. And now we look at the Soul Weavers, and again, there's just not a lot to work with here. Um, you have Fire, Katie's very solid hero, Maid, Chloe, Tamron's obviously just PvE, the DN is ungeared. So really, I think the thing you have to focus on most is fixing up your Night Weaver, I, Night, <laughs> uh, your Soul Weaver and Night game, because uh, honestly, um, especially since it's not free unequip, I don't want to waste your gold moving stuff around. Actually, you have no gold to begin with, so I can't really change anything. But you can't make a slow roll arena offense team when your sustained heroes have nothing to them. So let's go back into how we can deal with these. F I'll just explain it verbally because. Um, Obviously, I can't change your gear. So, honestly, your Cerise was 288 speed, right? You got to keep in mind, you're in Challenger. That's going to be faster than at least 80, 90% of Cerises. So, you can hit these teams without having too much fear of being outsped. So, a team that I would use is probably something like Cerise, Sidom, Alot, Judge Kisei. Um, because, basically, you can just use your Cerise to go first... If you get your C-Dom to bump up to the front, so get your C-Dom to like 160 to 180 speed, and then boost up your slow Alots, who is only like 250 to the front, to boost up uh, Judge Kisei, and just wipe them out. Honestly, at 280 speed, you should be more than fast enough. Alternatively, you got to keep in mind a lot of these... Um, Teams are really slow and have no damage mitigation. So you could also do something like Cerise, Seedom, Watcher Shuri, Arbiter or something. And basically the goal there is just to get your Arbiter to go before their Arbiter. One shot the Arby and then have him kill your team and then come back and kill them again. And basically that's an auto win. Because I think you're too scared of losing the speed contest. But... Your Cerise is actually really fast, so I think at the tier you're in, you would actually win most of the speed battles. If you bring a speed imprint like Watcher Shuri, you would 100% win. Like, there's not many 300 speed defenses in Challenger, I would think, other than Legend players who are just AFK. So I think you would win more often than not by just outspeeding those teams. Alternatively, build your Knights, like I said. Um... If you get Champ Z ever, Champ Z is the auto win against these F10 A Cerise comps. My team is a FCC, LR Crow, Champ Z, and RB or T Surin. And you have most of those heroes. Just replace FCC with Crow. And uh, you can basically just auto those defenses. All right, so just to check that theory out. So I suspect this CDOM is too slow to get pushed to the front, even with Cerise's boost. So sorry, man, I might get you a loss here, but let's see. I want to see if this Cerise actually outspeeds his Cerise. Um, because I think 288 speed, you can be pretty confident you'll be faster than most. And he is, but that C-Dom is just so damn slow that it can't get to the front. You see that? That's the problem. 
if it was faster, it would have gotten to the front there. Now we're going to lose because we can't bump up the Judge Kisei. But this is what I'm talking about, man. If that CDOM was able to cut uh, in front, then you can boost up the Ox lots. You would have gotten Judge Kisei up, and it would have been an automatic win. So here, there's really not much we can do because the whole team got restricted. Um, so honestly, I'm just going to yield here. There's really nothing to do. I'm going to do something weird here and uh, hopefully you don't get mad at me for this because I know you have very limited gold but I'm going to do it anyway man so hopefully this doesn't piss you off I apologize in advance but I'm going to try and switch your CDOM to speed boots just so you can see what I mean um crap it breaks your attack set though but forgive me man forgive me uh yeah you lose a chunk of attack here but uh Whatever, I I'm just going to do it. Please don't be mad at me. <laughs> but I just want to show you that exact same fight with that same strategy. So let's uh, find that guy I just lost against. Because I really wanted to show you how that works. And hopefully that RB is not on MLDB or something. But uh, we'll see. So now let's try that again. CDOM should be fast enough now to get to the front off a single push. And I think this will help you really take out some of these quote-unquote really fast teams that you're struggling with. Okay, now CDOM's at the front. So boom, we can boost up your A-lots and you win that speed contest. Don't dual attack. Perfect. Now we can boost up the Judge Kisei. And uh, game over. You win. You win. And you can even put uh, Judge Kisei on the uh, symbol of unity if you're scared of MLDBs or something. And there we go. You defeated a Cerise defense um, with ease. And all you really had to do here was fix the CDOM. And I think this combo of teams should be more than enough to get you into champion. Like I stay in champion easily running a very similar offense with a Cerise that's actually the same speed as yours. So I think that's really all you have to do. So you're going to have to fix your CDOM. Uh, I don't want to screw up your gold more, but that's literally the only change I had to make, putting speed boots on your CDOM. So, all right, let us um, let, let me ask this guy some questions and then we'll wrap this up. All right, so I asked the dude a couple of questions. So um, he is not an F2P player, um, but he hasn't bought anything in a long time, and his uh, pack store verifies that. He doesn't really spend any money. The other thing I asked him about is what it is is his favorite playstyle on RTA and what is he struggling with. You could see not a great win rate. He said his favorite playstyle is control. So he said his favorite team was Flurry, Spez, Cerise, SBA, and Tenebria. Although a lot of them um, he de-geared during the last unequip event. And he said he couldn't really get far because he was struggling with anything with RB, Champ Z, Rylet, or A Tywin. So I think this is a great point. Control is not a good play style to play unless you have godly, godly gear, because again, there's a lot of counters to it. So you really have to be able to dominate them on the gear front for it to work. And quite frankly, a lot of people are in the situation because this guy built a lot of cleave heroes and offensive heroes, right? But the thing is, they're all dependent on being turn one. It's not reliable. So his Cerise is really fast. So I think Cerise is unreliable. Uh, but if they ban his Cerise, what is his backup option? He has none. The Oxlots is too slow. Um, the Sage Ball is decent, but it's not really going to set up the team to do anything. So basically... He gets screwed in the opener if they ban the Cerise. If you're going to cleave, you need two options. You need Cerise and a fast A-Lots or Cerise and a fast Flitica. Cleave does not work unless you have faith in your speed because right now, let's say you draft Cerise and the other guy picks Acid and Politus. You're already screwed because he's going to ban the Cerise. You know the Acid's faster than your A-Lots. If you ban the Acid, Politus shuts down your A-Lots anyway. You're just in a lot of trouble. So the thing is, anyone at this tier needs to be building bruisers. Um, you need to be able to bruise because that's when the gear disparity doesn't matter as much. And bruising works against cleavers, other bruisers. It works against so many things. It gives you a much more reliable way of winning matches. And quite frankly, your bruiser kit 
is just not good enough. So I would say fix up these three heroes. LR Krau's kind of decent at your tier. Krau, you need to get him more life. Lilius, you have to make her not like a wet sandbag. Maybe get rid of some crit chance. You need to get these defense, health, and speed numbers up a little bit. And try building your A Momo and Dien. Uh, Dien is still a very solid PvP Soul Weaver. A Momo is kind of fallen off, um, except against control comps. If you see A Momo, they're usually high effect resist. But at this tier, it should work. Or you can even build up a Kades. But you need to have some bruising options. You said you had your flurry built. Maybe rebuild that as well if you have the best gear. And maybe try to run, I'd say, out of your heroes. Um, let's see what you have that's tanky. Like if you're willing to give up SSB on a Wyvern team, tank up SSB. Very good bruiser. You could use RB. You can use SSB. Charles has kind of fallen off, but at your tier should be fine. You could still use Charles. Um, Apoc, Ravi, and Alencia are both really good. Or regular Ravi. But essentially... You have no bruisers to work with. Build up these bruisers and you'll be able to do fine. And um, in terms of the main question you had, arena offense, I think just use the comp that I recommended you. Like, I, I can't imagine that a lot of people are outspeeding. Let's just try to right off the bat just to see if his fears are legitimate. Because I feel like this Cerise is fast enough where nine times out of ten in Challenger, you should be going first. Yeah, see? No problem. So I, I feel like you don't need to be so scared about these fast teams. You seem reasonably fast. Like, this is already an automatic win as far as I could see. Um, there's a Spez, so I'm just going to hit him because he has that Elbrus thing, right? So we'll hit him. Boost up Judge Kisei. Okay, automatic win. So I, I don't think you need to care about these teams. Um, was there another Cerise team on this page? And I feel like these matches are so fast, you should very easily be able to climb with this. We have a Benevolent Roman here. Um, hopefully your Judge Kisei does enough damage, but I don't think you have to be worried about getting outsped by this either. Let's see if we could kill the RB through the LR Crab Barrier. Like, see, you're comfortably outspeeding everyone in Challenger. Okay, um, let's tickle the RB and hopefully no dual attack from Judge Kisei. Uh, or we could just um, burn into the LR Crow, make the revive. Oh god, oh god. Alright, good, didn't kill him. Okay, then we boost up Judge Kisei. Do we have enough to kill the RB with this though? I don't know how strong your Judge Kisei is. Oh yeah, more than enough. Alright, so basically I think... Your arena team is fine. My advice is stop being afraid to speed contest people. Um, I switched your seed on to speed boots, and that's really all you needed to be able to make this work. So anyways, let's wrap this video up. I think uh, his main questions, just to rehash, were he wants to get to champion arena, and he wants more success in RTA. My solution for him in... Um, the arena push is basically just use the exact team I just made for him because you don't have any bruisers to work with and slowly start building out your bruiser kit. In terms of RTA success, you need to be able to have those bruisers as an option. If all you're doing is cleaving and control from what I can see, your gear is not going to cut it because your teams are going to be so dependent on Cerise getting through and you're not going to be able to rely on Cerise getting through. Bruisers give you so much more flexibility and you have a lot of good counter options like Kron, Tempest Surin, and Arbiter built to deal with other cleave teams. So I think you really just need to build out your Bruiser squad because it's very lacking there. Aroz, LR, Crow, and Lilius are all very meta. Uh, Crow has kind of fallen off, but Crow is still good. And the Soul Weaver front, you're, that's another big weakness. your Soul Weaver front. Try to build up DN. Um, a Kades, a Momo. You need some Soul Weaver options depending on what the other guy's drafting to make it work. So anyways, I think we'll wrap up this review. I mean, clearly this is a kind of a mid-late game account. I wouldn't say end game, but, you know, 170k CP um, with like 23 speed gear and stuff. Clearly not a new player. So I hope that some of you guys stuck in the same situation, stuck in Challenger Arena, trying to push an RTA that kind of helps you out. 
And uh, next time I'll be going back to reviewing an earlier game account because I want to keep alternating between mid-late game accounts and early mid-game accounts to try and review accounts for um, that will help the maximum number of people out. If I review Legend accounts, who's that going to help? That's not going to help anybody. They don't even need my advice. So anyways, uh, thanks Party or WinRAR, whatever you go by, for letting me review this. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and tell him to change his password now. And uh, if you have any questions for me or him, leave it in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Till next time and peace out.